Greetings. How are you? I'm listening. Great to meet you. Ah, I've, I've been, been expecting, expecting you. For the good. You oh, come oh, get the voodoo. Uh, hey there. And you are. Light be with hey, you. Break to you me. come to consult the spirits? Welcome to Orgrimmar. Have you come to serve the horde? Sail here, me buy, and trade. What? Hello, and welcome to Control Alt Wow, the podcast for those of us who love World of Warcraft and love making many alts. Today is Sunday, December 27th, 2020, and this is episode 690 entitled, See You Next Year. I'm Aprilian, your host, and with me are my two awesome co-hosts. Constrax, how are you today? I'm feeling much, much better. I uh, had a little uh, mishap last week and uh, fell off the rails. Thank you for uh, shouldering that one. I listened back to the show a few hours later on the um, the, uh, uh, with the Twitch stream. Mm-hmm. Like, it records the episode, so I got to listen right. to all the commentaries before and during the pauses and everything. That was great. Yeah, and we missed you. Yeah. And Grand Negus, how are you today? Molten rage. <laughs> like, 12 times. I was just nice. run killing a boss in yeah. the theater of pain. The, oh, the yeah. elemental guy. That ability is annoying as, yes. like, he's, like, throwing around all these meteors, these these things. I was almost thinking I was back in, in Firelands with Ragnaros with his... You almost need a healer to pick up the aggro right before you die. Yeah, it's, like, yeah. not funny. And, and the fight was over, and the meteors that he threw around didn't go away. So I had to dodge the mechanic for five, seven seconds after he was dead, which was annoying. Yep. The only good thing I noticed for the first time now is that the volcanoes that he puts up, they don't have any uh, uh, collision mechanics, so you can run through them. Right. On the other hand, if you do, you can't see the the molten rage mechanic on the ground. So it's only like the last resort thing. Yeah. But besides that, I'm okay. Excellent, excellent. So this is our last podcast of the year. Mm-hmm. We won't be podcasting again until next year. <laughs> well. Sorry, I had Having to say off that. for the rest of the year. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. And uh, what do we have coming up this year, this week? We have on tap, it looks like Feast of Winter Vale still on. Mm hmm. I haven't. I haven't even gone to pick up the presents under the tree. Didn't have oh, no. Here. You haven't. I haven't. I'll wait till next year. I'm sure it'll be, there'll be other stuff to pick up. Mm. Oh, there's there's a there's a pet and a toy this time, so you should go pick up the pet. It's a, a new pet, pet and a toy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh! It's a little raptor, <gasps> like one of the new raptors. Yeah, yeah, yep. And he's even got a name, like a real proper name, not not generic raptor number seventy five or something like that. <laughs> I um said the magic words for constructs. Yes, the pet battles. <laughs> uh, ending Tuesday looks like we have pet battle bonus week and a deep oh, six yeah. PvP. Yeah, so you can level your raptor yeah. into yeah. fights. Record time. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't go any faster. But than is two there a squirt day? No super I was doing uh, legendary PvP battles in um, 
the Reverend Draft, and oh boy, some of those uh, pets, especially the elemental one, they, they knock you out in like two shots. Mm-hmm. So uh, I think we're going to need more blue or more or an epic pet somewhere. Combat. I, I think if if I remember correctly, I mean that's like a couple of years ago or three. Yeah, I I, I think that. They said that they weren't going to introduce uh, player-owned epic pets yeah. because it would require them to get so many, uh, like a base amount. If they right. were to introduce one, right. that right. would right. that would uh, offset the balance. Oh no, not the precious yeah. balance. <laughs> yeah, so. That works so well now. It's like the tree of life. You can look at it, but don't touch it. Yep. <laughs> no, that's... I think that's like something to that effect they said. That's very a very delicate thing if you introduce yeah. a pet that's got a certain um, loadout of abilities, right. but right. they are more powerful or... Yeah. The pet has that much more health, so that's that delicate balance that they don't want to mess with, right? Which I totally understand. Yeah, I still have my um, blue health, health, fell flame from um, Shadow Moon Valley in uh, in uh, Outland, and it's still one of my favorite pets because it has 1806 health, it has really, really high health. Mm hmm. What else is going on? Uh, looks like begins Tuesday. We have time walking Wrath of the Lich King. Yeah, we have the first time walking event of Shadowlands. <laughs> so, interested in seeing what the item level is going to be yeah, for in there. Yep, for freshly dinged level 60 characters, how much of a catch-up gear-wise that's going to be, because I would guess that, especially with the fact that we do not have any special gear in Shadowlands, like the Azerite gear, right? we can use all the gear from time walking now. Remember when we had the, the uh, BFA and we had the Azerite armor? You basically couldn't use the gear that was like for the three slots of the Azerite armor because you would lose the special abilities right. and the validity of the Heart of Azeroth in a way. Right, right. And, and now we don't have that anymore. And another thing that, um, if I remember correctly, uh, is that we have more chances, I would assume, to get socketed gear, because back in the Wrath content, the specific item was socketed regardless, and now a socket is a proc. Right. A tertiary stat, so to speak. Mm -hmm. But if you want a socket on your gear now, you can just run a... run, run the... the um, Uh, run the time walking right. and then uh, get to a boss and maybe get loot right. and then have a socket because they said that there was going to be a uh, only so many I think they said four of the available slots of gear we're going to have sockets in Shadowlands and they were not overlapping with the ones where you can make armor uh, 
kids for. So with armor kids, we have, if I remember correctly, gloves, pants and boots, and chest, I think. Right. So, and then we have, so these are automatically, um, let me just turn off the music. Um, they, they are automatically exempt from procking a socket in, the, in, in those four slots. So then that leaves, technically, that would leave the, the headpiece, uh, the cloak, braces, and what belt? I don't know. It's, it's just, a, just a guess. I, wouldn't, I don't think that we're going to see a, a socket on a, on a neck piece that would, although it's jewelry, that would be like, yeah, I don't know. But Fun, funnily enough, if you grab an old um, Lich King pattern with a socket, you can upgrade to um, eye level 54 and um, 47. Not current content, but with a relic of the past, you can upgrade it with um, the blacksmithing relic of the past to um, a higher expansion. Mm hmm. Yeah, you can do that with any. Bring them closer. Yeah, you, that's with any. That's what the relics of the past are for. You can, you can use any pattern with any relic. You can downgrade them. Mm -hmm. You can upgrade them. That's what the relics of the past are for. Right. Like level one through, I think, four or five. Five. Yeah. Yeah. So you can you. And, and and those are like within their own expansion, and then you have for each expansion, I think, because I've seen multiple right. relics of the past from for uh, multiple um, resources, yeah. like craft crafting resources to craft them to make them. So I think that's a good idea if you if you have like excess uh, gear, uh, excess resources like like like, like nether weave cloth. Mm. We have like a bazillion of <laughs> nether weave cloth. Nice. Yeah. And you just and you just add uh, add a if that's possible. I haven't checked whether it's like. Uh, a, uh, if it's possible to to upgrade them to to uh, to Shadowlands level, but say it were, you, you just slap on a, a a Shadowlands relic, and then all of a sudden a item that's crafted with with Outlands with 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 uh, TBC materials are valid. To some degree, to like 111 item level or 107, I can't remember the exact item level number. That's interesting because if you if you want a, a certain piece of transmog, even if you say I don't want a transmog, but I still want to use an item, right? You can use the item. As if it were transmog. So yeah. Oh, that's interesting. There's so many so many ways where you can where you can do that. Let me just check at the Nexus because the Nexus is a time walking dungeon. Mm. Uh, let's see what the one hundred and fifty eight is the is the time walking uh, item level. Right for this tier. So if I go and check my Druid on which I'm on at the moment, I would be able to get a new headpiece or a headpiece upgrade, a chest upgrade, uh, both trinkets, both rings. Yeah. 
That's what I would, what I could potentially upgrade. Not by much, with some, but like 122 and 132, 102 the ring to 158, that, that, that's quite significant. Yeah. So, if you want to use uh, the, the time walking to, to do that, it's a good way to to get a base base item level of 158 at least. <clears throat> yeah. The auction house still does that thing where you can check all the items that fit the slot for your level, right? Yeah, you, yeah, you can Usable yeah, items. just yeah, you can just enter a level range. Yeah. Um, item level range even, yeah. So you you can check. There's a filter for for upgrades. Mm. So it will filter out everything that's not an upgrade for you. Yeah. So there are with the rework of the auction house, they added some some nice filters. Mm. And uh, of course, you can go in and and, and uh, still go into a specific slot and just uh, look for for items that that uh, cover that slot. Yeah, sure. But yeah, I think that's that's basically it. As I mentioned last week, we don't this week we don't have a Castle Nathria unlock because of the, the holiday season. Yeah. And the next one is going to be next Tuesday and Wednesday, the 5th and 6th. Um, if you want to get your presents or you want to have like a sleigh ride and you haven't done so yet, you have until... The second, right. which is gen- January the second, which is Saturday. So no need to rush, but it's still like the end is on the horizon. So don't don't take too don't long. Don't leave it till the last day. Right. Yeah. And the the fireworks celebration, as always, starts on New Year's Eve. Right. So. Yeah, that's that's it, I think, for the upcoming week. No new, no new um, holidays. We have um, Dark Moon Fair next week. Next week, or like on Sunday, mm-hmm. yeah, because. Yeah, we don't have to wait for almost an entire week this time around. Mm. So, yeah. All right. Well, let's get started. Mm -hmm. I've had a fantastic weekend. Wow. It's um, very comforting. (laughs) Those battlegrounds where you're not necessarily putting out more damage, but you feel like you're contributing more by pushing all the buttons all at once. (laughs) Bad boy, bad boy. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Constrats, how's your weekend while been? My weekend while was uh, really good on Doctor House. Almost every uh, every day or every second day, I sold five to ten thousand gold worth of stuff. So I'm sure there's uh, lots of uh, students at home <clears throat> looking for stuff to buy and what range they want to pick. I've sold um, three trinkets. I've sold a mount. I've sold um, a couple of um, weapons. I've sold a shield just now. The shield for ten thousand gold. Oh! So people still need those slots. That's what I mean. Is like they're looking for something, but they don't know what they're looking for. And anything that's an item upgrade will do because when you get one shot in a dungeon, <laughs> it looks bad. Yeah. <laughs> It's supposed to be able to survive at least 
one hit so the le- the healer could pop you up later, right? Right. And um, what you might call it, um, I'm trying really hard to uh, build more mounts to sell, but I find that um, the materials collection is uh, trickling in. Like um, I went to Vashir to collect some um, some uh, obsidian ore for my uh, pet collections to sell on the uh, different auction houses. And obsidian ore does not, that's not like one that people like farming. And uh, you can find lots of it in Bashir. So I was there and I, I also sent my robe because I wanted my main character to be um, uh, to be around in case there was something hard to kill. And then an exclamation mark came up. Silver Tide Hollow on my map. What happened is nine years ago, my quest log got full and I dropped the quest. But one of the quests that I dropped to either do Dark Moon Fair or not was a quest in Silver Tide Hollow. And I couldn't figure out where I'd lost the quest. So I never got the achievement for sinking into Vashir on my rogue. I had to get the achievement on my warrior because I couldn't get it on my rogue. I didn't know where I'd lost the quest. So Blizzard in their wisdom in doing this um, uh, time walking and all the uh, the uh, chromy time and whatnot, they put little exclamation marks on the map so you remember where to pick up the quests that you dropped, which is awesome because now you can return to the, the spot where you left off. Oh, that's great. And uh, I can't tell you, like, I was doing the dance of joy when I when I finished that achievement because I was like, that 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 ticks the achievement progress off my list. I've had the achievement progress on my list for this year at the bottom of the screen for eight years now. <laughs> I wasn't clicking it off because I'm like, I'm gonna get that achievement at some point. So that was um, important to me because I, I like I like I'd like to have lore master on my main at some point, but I, I, there was always like things that sidetracked me. Like, uh, in Northrend, it was the, uh, Zuldrak. Zuldrak just takes forever to complete that achievement. So I, I have still haven't done it, mm. but it, like, I'm careful to not do it on, on an alt because I wanted to get it done on my main. And then, uh, I was uh, I was at the Half Hill Farm, and I realized that I need a lot of ghost iron ore because the amount that I sold this week happened to be the Sky Golem. So, um, the Sky Golem, you know, usually you, uh, people undercut each other to death, but I didn't undercut. I I left it at a high price, and somebody bought it at that price because there was none on none other on the auction house than mine. So hmm. it takes thirty days to craft. So if it takes 30 days to craft, then you have to do the cooldown every day. And the cooldown is 10 ghost iron for jarred source. And then you also have to have the uh, living steel, 30 of them. Living steel, you can buy off the auction house. It's not that bad of a price. Uh, the, the, the price fluctuates on the auction, auction house constantly. If you have an alchemist, you can make some by your, yourself with six um, trillion bars or three with the... Uh, uh, the Spirits of Harmony. If you have Spirits of Harmony, you can do it without the cooldown because the, the riddle of steel is open to you. But um, that's like old stuff that you can still make a lot of gold with. And right now my rogue is sitting at, I, I'm scared to say it, 786,000 gold. Somebody could break into my account that could all be gone tomorrow. <laughs> but... Uh, uh, like it's slowly, slowly going up, and um, I did the dailies like Grand Nigus was talking about last week and the week before. And the dailies, you get these gray items sometimes that are worth five, seven, or six hundred gold. So you sell those gray items, and you also get uh, like two thousand gold from doing the dailies. So that's not bad. 
mm-hmm. and you get 1,600 rep, which we all know at Exalted, you probably get a mount and, or a pet or something. And so I'm doing that for Revendreth, and um, you also get Anima. I started doing the mission table, and then uh, one of my um, uh, main characters got hurt, and it said 80 Anima to heal all, and I said, what? I'm not spending 80 Anima on that. She can rest, and I'll send her out when uh, when she's good and ready. Like, she's already level 6, and I don't I don't mind taking the slow scenic route, but it's like 80 Anima for for a, a top up is like no, I want my anima so I can buy stuff and I can do yeah. stuff with the, uh, uh, the the various vendors there. Yeah, it ain't gonna happen. Yeah, no, it, it ain't gonna happen exactly. I need more. <laughs> nope. I need more uh, more healers on my uh, my roster so I can uh, send them out. Um, one of the quests, I don't understand it, but it says take your henchmen to Maldraxxus to do quests with you. So I don't understand that one. It's very easy. You just go out and do your yeah. uh, your, your dailies. Yeah. It's, it's just a follow-up that pops up when uh, whenever you're in an area that that uh, that is is your home. Okay. Like I have, I have a. But he's not. He's not in my home. He's maybe in Maldraxxus, so you have to follow me to a different realm. Yeah, he can. He oh, can. Okay. Yeah. So sometimes I have. A, I, I uh, as soon as you accept the, it's it's one of the callings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. I have. Uh, that's the one I, that I. I, I haven't. Have. I haven't done it yet, so I'll have to. Yeah. Um, See how it goes. Yeah, you just go ahead and you get a follower at some point. Yeah. Uh, Nadja the blade. No, no, like no, 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 no. That's that's the that's the soul bind. Yeah. That's not necessarily your your follower. Um, and uh, I was also um, in, in Revendreth. I I picked this like teleport skill with Anima that. Um, is like the grappling hook, but it's better because you can target um, like a, a really narrow ledge at a distance, and it will still catch on. It'll, it won't say pass unavailable. So I've picked that skill, and with that, I've been able to retrieve chests that are uh, like slightly off the map. Mm-hmm. So uh, in one of the chests, I got a map for uh, the ruby infused crystals network so I don't really know what that does but like it said the map costs 100 and you have 100 so I bought the map and when I right click on the map it gives me a buff infused ruby tracking so if I see a creature that needs crystals or that drops crystals it'll pop up on my map so I don't really know what that does yet but I figure I feel like um Revan Breath is just this giant puzzle with like so much to do, and you you don't really know what you're embarking on when you're you when you accept the quest. You, like there's um, there's a number of possibilities. Like some of the stuff is pick up anima. Okay, pick up anima. But if you do a pet battle quest against a legendary pet, you still get the anima. So <laughs> that's kind of weird. But um, I do I like I do the quests. I do the dailies and some of the mobs are just too tough i can't i can't kill them i can't like i, I can't I can't run away all i can do is vanish and wait for my vanish to come off cool down and start questing again because of the mobs are just so horribly horribly powerful and i don't have the gear yet mm-hmm. i went down into the mall and i collected 300 currency the uh, stygia mm-hmm. to buy the mark of crafting level two and then once I finally had 300 after about two hours, because it, it's a long, slow slog to get those, because if you die, you lose like one-sixth of them, so you have to retrieve them at your corpse. Oh, no. So I, mm-hmm. I've, I've, I died about 20 times. <laughs> I, I, what I did is I, I camped an area close to the graveyard. <laughs> then if I had oh. to run back, you're, you're right beside where you, brought, where you died off, so you could get back some of your currency. You basically, they refund basically everything that you lost. 
Mm. Yeah. And uh, so you run away. So you, if you die again, you have less far to run and you could be sort of in a spot where you don't pull aggro. And uh, when I went to buy the thing, it says you also need reputation. So you, you can't buy it. So it give me a couple of weeks on that, at least, for sure. But that thing, the Crafter's Mark Level 2, boosts the item level to, uh, I think, 155 and um, item level 155 and level requires level 60. So you can basically craft a gear that's in the dungeons, mm -hmm. plus or minus a few item levels. So that's not yep. bad. That means you can equip your alts who wear plate. And um, I return to the farm at Half Hill because I need more ghost iron, more trillium, and more of this to keep on making the mounts. Um, there's always like a sweet spot in the year to sell mounts, and it's usually when people have more time. And uh, I, I find that it's, it's not good to have 100 mounts up. It's good to have one of each. So the more variety you can have the better. I sold my um, my uh, Ruby uh, Panther Answer. last mm -hmm. last yep. last month, and you know I made like double double the profit on that, so I was quite happy because I, I had all the maps, so it wasn't like a big expense. Well, the only thing I had to buy was the Orb of Mystery, which is twenty thousand gold, and uh, still shy. Oh no, I'm still shy. Two bars of ghost iron for the um, the uh, guard's peculiar cooldown today. So I have to go farming, flying around. Because sometimes it's hit and miss how much ghost iron you get, and you have to use two or to make one bar. So yep. some days you you get a lot, and other days you, you hit or miss. And I think I have four farms. Four farms going right now, providing materials. So, um, I also went to Wintergrass and I farmed titanium there, and also Serenite to turn into titanium with the alchemy. And I farmed my gems for the uh, daily in um, in uh, Dalaran for the jewel crafting. The reason I do the jewel crafting is because you can now upgrade those rings to more current eye level by using a Relic of the Past. Relic of the Past is fairly cheap to craft. Uh, there's three different expansions I can craft them, craft them from, and they basically come out all the same. It's just you can use mats from Warlords of Draenor, you can use yep. mats from uh, Battle for Azeroth, or you can use mats from um, Shadowlands. Shadowlands. So you 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 have options if you if you have a lot of um, if you just want to farm the ore in your uh, garrison you can mm -hmm. and as long as you have luminous flux which all the vendors all the blacksmithing vendors sell now you can make the relics of the past. Oh, I've also sold very handy. I've also sold relics of the past on the auction house for five hundred gold each, which is insane because it doesn't cost that to craft, but people still need them. Right. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm, I'm kind of swimming in the gold right now <laughs> and hoping that the, the pattern keeps up because I, I, um, I don't really know how to play Battle... I don't really know how to play Shadowlands. I, I'm, I have adventures, and I have no idea how long it's going to take when I pick up a quest in Shadowlands to get it done, so um, this construct needs help sometimes, and sometimes I have to drop it in the middle of what I'm doing, and I don't get back to it till the next day. So if it's a daily, I don't know if it's, if I still have the daily the next day or not. But right. If it's um, if it's like farming ore in ore and herbs in Vashir, because I, I farmed a, I still farm the mats for vials and sands. When they're cheap on the auction house, I buy them off the auction house. When I have to fish volatile fires, I go to Twilight Highlands. There's like a little pool there. Um, and I, I, I just do everything I can to have mounts on the auction house because mounts seem to sell always. Nice. But everything else, it can be hit or miss depending on who needs what slot or whatnot. 
Mm-hmm. So um, when I sell something, I try to put another one up of the same thing that I just sold. So if I sell a saber that has strength on it, I don't know what the other stats are, but I hope the stats kind of match up to something. And I craft another saber of the same kind to list on the auction house. And um, the exploration is not on the the busy schedule for me. I kind of do it haphazardly while I'm watching um, the Marvel movies last Last two nights, I watched uh, Captain Marvel and I watched uh, The Age of Ultron, and I, like I just going back to movies after movies after movies because the uh, Apple TV doesn't complain. It's just <laughs> it's just so many movies on there to watch, and uh, so I, I do that. Uh, I saw the tribute to Stan Lee uh, when he passed away. That was kind of cool, and mm-hmm. uh, I'm just. I'm just glad I have stuff to do uh, for small chunks of time. The uh, dungeons I did two or three times, which is the cool thing is in the cash for the dungeon, you get like 500 anima. So you can drop that in your bank. Like your, your blood, for me, it's a blood bank with Reb and Dreth. But um, I'm, I think I'm at 1400 anima now. And it goes up to 35,000, but I'm probably never going to get there because there's there's stuff to spend it on. So uh, the oh, thing yeah. I have to the thing I have to start doing is uh, Torghast. I've gone once, but I need to start going there on a regular basis because every couple of days it gives me the quest for Torghast to um, to save souls in there because they they have other uh, properties that can be gained buffs and whatnot that you can gain or lose. I just, whenever I go in there, I try to find a thing to buy and have lots of time. Um, when I did the um, the collecting of the uh, 300 Stygia, I got to second level of uh, the um, the uh, eyes of the jailer. So yep. the first level is you get attacked on sight. So after you're there for like an hour, the stuff become more uh, aggressive. You pick up aggro more easily. After second level, they bombard your area, so you have to find cover when uh, when uh, the rain the rain of fire starts coming. I don't know what the third level is, but every every hour that you stay there, the the uh, jailer uh, becomes more aware of your progress because you're killing some of his uh, minions. So. I, I, there's a bunch of stuff that I want to do, and I, I, I'm kind of afraid to pick up new items on the list because I never know which direction is going to push me in after that because I like there's just so many uh, different areas to expand on in uh, Shadowlands, and like I kind of like the old content because I know the old content, but the the new stuff it's like so many achievements. <laughs> You get achievements that you, you don't even know what they're for. So you have to go back and click on the thing you know, when it pops up to see what you did to trigger that. Anyway, that's uh, pretty much been my week. And it's mostly been an auction house slash jewel crafting week where uh, my engineers uh, get get all their maps to get the, the Sky Golem mount crafted again. Mm. And that's been my week. Very nice. Oh, excellent. Oh, oh. how you doing? I get excited. I get giddy. I love making mini alts. My dog is trying to poop for the horn. And for the alliance. It was funny in my head. Well, how was your week in WoW, Prillian? It kind of ended on a sad note last week because we didn't take the Grinch down. It's a white fest over and over again. Mm-hmm. Which was partly my fault because my um, I was triple boxing. If we had had probably a full team, it might have gone better. <laughs> um, I did go to the Sea Santa and I got... Mm-hmm. Um, the presents. I was a little bit sad though because you only get one pet. One of the uh, what is it? Trippy. What's his name? I just had it. Oh, 
You know what I'm talking about. You only get one pet. Yeah. And oh, maybe I shouldn't give spoilers, but it's one of one. It's very unique. So even if you open the boxes on all your tunes, you're still gonna end up with one and the toy. So, yeah. but you know, it, thank you, Blizzard. I'm not gonna look a gift. Gift. <laughs> if it holds them, yeah. In the mouth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. I'm still, I'm doing quests on Oryx. That's my goal right now is to try to get Oryx. He's, she's 42, almost 43, and we're doing pet battles and stuff. She did go to Chromie, and nice. I may regret this, but I chose Pandaria. <laughs> I don't know why I did. You could just go back to her. Right, right. But I want, Pandaria means I go and, do I go to Turkey Hill? Do I get my farm? Do I do all that stuff? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay with that. I wanted to do that. And um, you can fly. You can you can just do the intro stuff until mm-hmm. you're like on the airship there, okay. and then yeah. you can basically abandon everything and just fly to wherever you want to go, okay. yeah, including to your your half hill farm. Right. All right. So that'll be fun. It'll be nostalgic. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know. Um, it's funny because I found I had on one of my tunes a space. I had a you know how you put stuff into your little uh, toolbars, and then they're not there anymore, but the the outline of them are still there. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I was like, why do I have two surveys? Oh no, that's the thing for digging up uh, plants that you don't want. Yeah. yeah. yeah so I'm kind of I'm I'm looking forward to that. Um, I'm uh, still gonna try to do well. Right now, I still have Aprilian and April. In um, out by the Grinch, but looks like nobody's doing it. Have you any of you guys done it? Oh, no? um, yes. Oh, you did? Last, okay. Uh, once. That's part of your, one. is that part of your content? I don't want to give up your content. No, no, it's not. I okay. talked about it last week already. Okay. Um, I just did it on my, oh, only on my, on my paladin. So, mm. nothing special. My, uh, my paladin's not max level yet, so I, I, I cringe how, how how little damage I would do. Right, yeah. And I don't remember it being that hard. I remember being able to bring him down. Or maybe maybe there was just more people doing him than last year. And I just feel like it's Christmas is something I should do. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, I went to do pet battling on Oric. And April had already been signed in, and they're on the same Battle.net account. I hate that whole thing. Because I yeah, logged yeah. off of April, but you can't just log off. You have to totally um, exit the account. Yeah. Yeah. So, I did that. Um, I was surprised because I didn't realize how far the scaling had gone. Uh, April was... I mean, Auric was um, on her way to do the first uh, pet battler in yeah. Mog, right outside of uh, Ogremar. Yeah. And something attacked her, and I'm like, you know, usually in Ogremar, outside of Ogremar, you're like, oh shoot. But it was. You're it was safe. A, but it was, yeah, it was the same level. It was 42, so. Oh no. She had to actually battle, which was okay, because she got a, a grizzly trophy. So. Right. Yeah, that was good. Um. I'm going to be taking her out to Pandaria as soon as we do all the uh, the uh, pet battles in the area. We might just, um, let's see, who is there? There's um, the chick over in Northern Barrens. And then I think there's one more that's kind of close that she can get to. And then we're going to head to Pandaria. Um, what else? I'm not doing a lot. I should do more. Um, I mean, and I don't even know. Is there any incentive for me to take my high-level tunes to open gifts? Because I remember at one point, there was some presents that you didn't get for lower-level tunes. Or... Yes. So you th- need to be level 60 on your tune to get certain gifts. Okay. All right. Well, that's not going to happen. All right. You said you only got the pet. Did you get the toy? I got the toy as well. But the toy is okay. also account wide, so it you know. Yeah, yeah sure. Because you know. um, if I remember correctly, someone said that there is one present 
that you only get when your tune is max level. Oh, okay. So I, I, I wonder don't... which one that would be because I opened, I only opened one set of presents and that was on yeah, Trillane, max, obviously. Okay. Well, and he is he is max level, and I didn't get anything. Uh, out of the ordinary, as in new, other than the new toy that I didn't know, and right. the new pet that I didn't know. So I don't know what what that level sixty pet would be. be. Right, because these uh, pets are not. I mean, none of my tunes are max level. And exactly, that's yeah. my point. Yeah, right. that's what I, yeah. So that's interesting. Yeah, very much so. Maybe they changed it. I don't know. Hmm. In defense of Farwatch? Hmm. Oh, that must be a low-level class. Anyways, I am going to... Um, I'm on vacation the first two weeks of January, so I'm hoping wow. to Ooh, take nice. full advantage nice. of uh, Dark Moon Fair, we buff yeah, and yeah. everything, and hopefully in, by January... Um, I'll have uh, a level 60. Um, I did do the... Stu I don't know. I'm, I'm so used to doing this, and maybe it's it's um, superstition. But I didn't open all my boxes. I, cl I yeah. shift-clicked, you know, took out the pet, took out the toy. Um, because I was told that if you open the Grinch, you know, the mechanical Grinch, yeah. it would disappear like around Christmas. But it's so crazy now because I think I have like twenty. <laughs> but what would disappear? How and why? Oh, because it was a Christmas thing. But maybe that was a myth. Maybe uh, I should just go ahead and open I them. Don't, I don't and know. of course, I got a bunch of helpers, which <laughs> right, yeah. Well, I mean, we all get helpers. Yeah, yeah. and I, I'm sure you can't even give them away. <laughs> On the auction house. <laughs> Not right now. Yeah. Well, oh, you, you can. You have to wait a few weeks. Yeah. Yeah. You just need to find someone who wants them gifted. Mm, mm. Oh, Soul Forge Blueprints. Oh, what's the. Uh, <laughs> what and, uh, do you want? That's been my week. I am. Uh, I am. Oh, <laughs> it was funny because I, you know, I just re upped Auric. And it's, well, last a few weeks ago, because now she's got two days left, and I'm going to have to renew her, because um, I really do want to level her. And I went to fly, because, um, I don't know, what have I been doing that I haven't been flying with her? Oh, we went to Dark Room oh. Fair, and then we went yeah. out to the um, Grinch. But she had the broom in her, in what I call the fly. I keep... The equal side is always my flying slot. I don't know yeah. how other people do it. But she, she she had a broom from, you know, Halloween. Halloween, but, yeah. And, of course, it didn't work. All right. And that, that's, oh, wow. yeah. that's been my week. Nice. <laughs> And now it's time for Add On Spotlight and a whole bunch of other things with Grand Nagus. What do you have for us this week, Grand Nagus? A full bag, apparently. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we eagerly await. But obviously, you're not playing uh, Pokemon, but we won't go there. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> it's me. Hello? Ooh. Very nice. I got... Uh, Greater Untamed Spirit. I need to go back to my Queen's Conservatory, apparently. Uh, oh. The Queen's Conservatory. That sounds ominous. 
Mm-hmm. It is. Yes, it, it's not my Queen's Conservatory, it's the Queen's Conservatory. Oh, yes. So, uh, I don't think Sylvanas has a conservatory, but yeah, okay. <coughs> so, uh, let me just go through all these things. The Soul Forge Blueprints. Uh, yeah, okay. So, I'm on my Druid. Okay. And he just turned in four quests with Venari, the broker in the mall. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think I've never had as... Well, I, I know I haven't had ever had as much Stygia as I... As I have now. So, uh, yeah. And I I don't know what, what the whole Maw thing is about. It's <laughs> one item here. Yeah. S- Sigil of the Unseen. Mm. Yeah. It, it costs 666 Stygia. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. You know? It's, it was my first, uh, yeah, two, so uh, I wonder what type of, what kind of item that is. Hmm. Very, very strange number to, to, to charge you there. Yeah. So, yeah, it's. Basically, when you when you start with your with your uh, travels in the mall and in um, in Torghast, you meet this this broker, which is the new race that we got introduced to. Like the um, they're like the ethereal, but not quite. Right. Yeah, they're like they're like. Uh, Ethereals, a mix of ethereals and goblins yeah. on steroids. Point on steroids, two, yes. 2.0. <laughs> so they're like, it's like, uh, oh, what you have for me? Like, give me, <laughs> give me stuff. When you don't have anything for me, go out and get something. Yeah, yeah. Any, anything. It's like, yeah. And uh, if, you, if you mouse over Stygia, it says... Uh, Souls that are murdered violently in the mall. <laughs> so, yeah. so there's an element of uh, yeah. of uh, uh, ruthlessness to, to this race. The byproduct of the violent destruction of a yes. soul within the mall. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The first five souls you acquire are like take take everything. <laughs> yeah. And I'm. I'm uh, speaking of souls, it's very interesting for me now. I only, quote unquote, only came here to do one of the quests from the uh, from the heart uh, of what's it called, like the the Night Fay Covenant, mm. um, where um, I was asked by by. Oh, spoiler. <laughs> spoiler. Uh, but by a certain person, let's, let's, let's put it that way, to go and, and save a couple of souls again. So I, I accepted the initial quest of go to the mall and save three souls. Right. And I thought, okay, let's just go and do the same thing as we always do, like... Every week we go and save five souls. Right. No, nope. those are different souls. Those are specific souls. I'm not going, yeah. again, spoilers, I'm not going to go into what type of souls, race of souls they are. So, and then I, I completed the quest, went back to said person, turned the quest in and popped up a follow quest, go to the mall and save three souls. Yep. Huh. So, 
Could you just tell me to go there save and eight. save six eight, souls? Yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Instead of sending me twice, could you just yeah. send me once and do yeah. the whole quest at the same time? So now, now I wonder when I when I come back again, whether it's going to be like, oh, uh, you got nothing better to do. Go back to the mall and save another three. I'm going to check that now. So. Uh, it's like, and I don't see any reason why or, or or any mechanic how we could have picked up those quests before. Mm. Like normally you have those catch up mechanics, yeah. Where if if it's gated by something, be it time gated or progress gated or whatnot. You do a set of quests, then you wait until the criteria are met for you to unlock the next step, like with Renown or with Rep or with uh, whatever else. And then you do the next set and then the next and then the next. But in this case, I've never seen this NPC give me that quest before. And there weren't any stories that I've unlocked uh, that I haven't done for four days. Three, four days. I did the, the story quest in, in Ardenweald on Wednesday. So it was Thursday, Friday, Saturday, like four days. And all of a sudden, today it popped up, and two of them. So that's kind of strange. Right. So, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what, what, what that's all about. But eventually, I'll, I'll find out. I, I would guess. used to summon the world edge gorger. <laughs> what is that? Hmm. Enchanting anima. Oh, oh it's a it's a uh, it's a item for rare to summon a rare in uh Raven Dress. Uh, there's so many so many things that are, have a specific use. A unique Use that. Uh, I don't know who decided that we were going to go down that 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 path of introduce 150 items, individual items that you need to do this, that, and the other, and like fill up our bags <laughs> because yes. that's what it ends up doing. Right. Yeah. I don't know, it's, uh, yeah. I have an item here, treats for, for Larian, which is a, 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 a one of the, the, the mounts, one of the, the uh, beings in Bastion. And it's a treat. So what to do with it? doesn't say the only thing that my ATT says or the things is that it's for an achievement but it doesn't specify anything mm, interesting yeah and it's, it sits in my bag but yeah I don't know no indicator on the map that I have uh, a quest or there's no no indicator from from anything that it linked to a, an achievement that I've already that I haven't done yet. Very mysterious. So yeah, there are as as conflicts that there are things that we don't really know how to how to do uh, yet in one thing I like about and I don't know if it if a similar thing 
is uh, is present in the soul is is in one of the other soul binds in either Bastion or Revendreth mm -hmm. uh, from one of the soul binds in uh, Ardenweald. I have a trait that I selected that gives me a container, a, a, uh, a bag in this case, with uh, leather, fish, and meat from the Shadowlands. Oh. Right. Then you. Uh, what was the other mechanic that gave you those things like way back when? I can't remember. It was a similar thing. The shoulder right? enchants back in Exactly, yeah, yeah, exactly, right. yeah, yeah. Right. Exactly. The shoulder enchants in Legion, yeah. Right. Uh, this is basically the same mechanic and at yeah. approximately the same drop rate. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you kill 10 or 20 things, you get a, a bag or, or 100 yeah. things, and then. Yep. Uh, if you put all those on the auction house, you make like a thousand gold or something. <laughs> oh, it's not. It's not really not bad. So. No, no, no. I just opened one and I got three fish. Another two fish of a different kind. Mm. Yeah. Two meats and two hides. Mm. Yeah. So that's not too bad. No. The hides are really. Yeah, the auction house says two one ninety nine for a hide. So yeah, yeah, that's not bad. Oh, and yeah, so quite quite happy with that. Uh, so yeah, and as I said earlier, with the with the stuff that I get from the Queen's Conservatory, uh, it's really. It's one of the most interesting of the of the non-progress, non-character uh, power-related uh, games, so to speak. You have the I can't remember what or I don't know what the Bastion one is. You have the the, the party in Revendreth. You have yeah. the Queen's Conservatory in Ardenweald, and you have the the Abomination Stitching Factory in in Mount Laxis. Mount Laxis, yeah. Right. And I think the the Queen's Conservatory is is the most interesting because you get if I see it. Uh, the right way, and when I when I like look at at, at stuff, you get the most uh, cosmetic rewards like pets right. and mounts. Right. From that, of all the four, you get to see a little lore because it's all about. Uh, Resurrecting and uh, spirits from from uh, from the so the Queen's Conservatory is basically when you go to Ardenweald, it's all about uh, nurturing the the wild seeds, uh, which are like resting spirits of of wild gods. Uh, Loa and all that stuff, and then when they've been nurtured to to uh, go back to their respective worlds, that's what they do. That's why you have the the uh, the Loa reborn, the the uh, the wild gods reborn. Um, why scenarios came back because he really wasn't dead; he was just resting in in. Uh, in Ardenweald, mm. and so that's basically your your job is to tend to those wild seeds that that uh, that house those those spirits and nurture them and uh, feed them anima. 
and then send them back to their respective worlds. And whenever you you send a uh, whenever a a wild seed is ready to be uh, sent uh, sent back, one of the souls, you see that animation of the wild seed pop open, and the spirit leave the wild seed and like disappear and go back. And apparently, I've been told that uh, those are all significant uh, characters, NPCs that we know. Oh, that's the the first one when when you go through the introduction for the Queen's Conservatory, the first uh, soul that you nurture back and, and, and release is the uh, the serpent the, the uh, um, this uh, the red uh, thing what's it called the mount that flies around over over uh, the veil of eternal blossoms that you can get as a mount oh I don't um, know his name yeah yeah but yeah, that's that one. that's okay. the thing. Yeah. After we killed it, obviously to get the mount, we now nurture it back and and send it back. Oh. So so other people can kill it and get them as mount. a mount. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Right. So yeah, I haven't I haven't uh, done any any others yet because I wanted to focus on other stuff, but now I have, because uh, there is a thing called conduit? No. What are they called? Uh, they have a certain name. No, conduits are the other things. Right. But there are a certain, there's a certain mechanic where you can link and boost those, those wild seeds with items that you get Right. that you can collect and the higher they are boosted the more potent the reward so like if it's like not connected you get a green item if they're like boosted by one of those items you get a blue reward and if they're boosted by two or three or I don't know how many you get a, a epic level reward oh. So, and I wanted to to wait for for um, me to have enough of those items to then like maximize the outcome of the uh, of the seeds being being. Uh, Being nurtured, being 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 fed, being released again, mm-hmm. and uh, so far I have five, five of those things. Uh, it says uh, with a green untamed spirit. It says in uh, with all of them. It says infuse a wild seed with the spirit, meaning that you basically, yeah, that's that's how you uh, initiate the the uh, the re restoration cycle or whatever they call it. And then I have uh, three. I have two of those green ones, and I have. Two more, three more of of blue quality, and if I look at the content according to my uh, all the things add-on, which is like right. really nice, I can see in the in the tooltip what those respective spirits uh, can give as a potential uh, drop. Uh, there are two two pets which are like the night willow barb 
and the Grove Wardens Mall. I think those are, I would assume they are uh, pets. And then you have a Pale Acid Mall, mm-hmm. Mount, Enchanted Wakeners Runestag, and the Wakeners Runestag. So, yeah, three, three mounts and two pets. Nice. Uh, and then you have, and then you have, I think, four different types of each color. I have a greater untamed spirit, and I have a greater dutiful spirit. And then I have an untamed spirit, which is like obviously the green version of the greater untamed spirit. And. Uh, that gives you the untamed spirit gives you elder wood gavel and or hardwood stem which I don't know what it is but that's that's a item that is linked to the restoration spec of a druid so I would imagine and and the balance spec so I would imagine that might be a conduit ish that you can then use in your in your soul bind uh, again might be um, so yeah that's the quite a few ways to get the loot that you that you want that you need and I really like that that you don't necessarily have to go kill stuff and that there is useful loot from all the content which obviously requires you to do the content if you want the loot as we all know there's like no nothing that you get for free right so um, I'm Finish with with uh, Venari now. So I'm going to go back to to Ardenwield and then check uh, with with the NPC to see if uh, if that NPC has more more quests for me to get even more souls now. Yeah, really interested in seeing. And I like the fact that uh, with the, at least with, with Ardenwield, I, again, I haven't played as much of the other uh, covenants. I played some, obviously, with, 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 with Trilane in, in Maldraxxus, but uh, the only change, quote unquote, change that I've seen is that the stations where you go and do stuff like the mission table and uh, and the soul bind thing that they are unlocked and marked on the mini map so you know where they're located mm-hmm. but visually like upgrading your hub much like uh, uh, Shalana in in in, uh, in Suruma, that hasn't happened in in Malglaxis as much as it has in in uh, in Ardenwield. And uh, other than the gear that you unlock for your character is being ref- the, the progress is being reflected in the character uh, in the statue of the Primus that's located there. You can see how he slowly but surely or the statue gets more armor. Right. Which is really weird. Like you unlock a certain stage of a of of uh, of story and then an NPC tells you go and check in with the statue. A statue just like a dead thing quote unquote, which right. isn't technically true, but still. And you go to the statue and you see the cinematic of 
Oops, all of a sudden he's got like braces on his on his wrists. Okay, that's like, yep. <laughs> that's a nice way of upgrading your 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 uh, your base. Right. Having the statue that looks over over it uh, have braces on his wrist. Nice, cool, great. So yeah. So let's see, what do we have? Uh, I thank you once again, more Walker. These souls are finally free. Uh, there are still so many more, but I'm optimistic that we may yet save them. Okay, one more? No. No, not one more. Not at the moment, anyway. Sea Gamer is saying he finds catalysts everywhere, chests, boss, rare drops, daily quests. Oh. Yeah. Oh, this is this is this is not nice, guys. They even give them their their name. The the souls that you save are named. Oh no. Oh, yeah. now, I, now I need to check. And apparently they're like, yeah, they're permanent. They they populate. Wow, they populate the heart of the forest. This is interesting. I need to go and check. I don't know that much about night and floor, so I need to go and and, and check with. Uh, I I bet that they are uh, some some NPCs that. That are that that we know of. So yeah, that's that's interesting. Um, yeah. So yeah. As for my my progress, um, I've reached. Max renown on on both both the druid or, or like max renown as in uh, the the amount that you can unlock. I right. um, haven't done with all the the seasons stuff with all the holiday stuff. I've only done the the story for for Arden Wheels. I'm going to get. To the uh, the Malbrax's story tomorrow, um, and then yeah, I uh, found a couple of more a uh, couple more uh, memories, legendary memories, which you need to craft legendary items. Um, got one earlier today uh, from a kill in the mall, and where is where is that thing? Where are my where are the Is it? Come on, where where are my? Uh, we're doing it live, guys. We're doing it live. We're doing it live. Uh, oh my god! Where are the powers so you can watch them, see them? Um, dungeons, raids. No. Anyway. Mad well done. I got like four of four or five now for the druids and about the same I think one less for the for the warlock. Um I've been told that when you when you get to fifteen, I wonder if it's like overall account wide, because those those memories are account-wide. You only have to get them once. 
which is really a nice right. uh, new thing where like with the uh, unlock in region of the of the artifact and the heart of Azeroth in in BFA and the um, the essences in BFA you all had to do that individually and now with Shadowlands as soon as you pick up and learn a memory mm -hmm. it's account wide so none of your other uh, characters that can use that memory needs to learn them again they can just go ahead and craft them themselves oh that's neat the only thing they need is the currency to do that which is uh, the soul ash and obviously the, the materials like you need uh, you need a plate piece or a mail piece or a cloth piece to where you can then put the legendary into because that's uh, that's just the way the mechanic works you can go to a uh, you can go to the auction house if you want to and buy a quote unquote empty piece of armor okay. and then basically infuse it with the memory and with uh, two legendary no with, with two uh, I can't remember what they're called they're basically if you remember back to Pandaria, where you had the little dragon trinket, where you could yeah, put yeah, you in had three sockets. Right. Yeah, right. cogs right. wheel. Yeah, cogs wheel. Right. Yeah. 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 Exactly. That's basically the same, the same uh, mechanic. Where in this case, it's the inscription, the, the scribes that make these items that you then put into your your legendary that represent or that empower uh, the item with the secondary stat if I remember correct so those are the three things that you need you need the the empty the, the shell piece you need the two items for the secondary stats and you need the memory. And those, if you then like, go to the, to the uh, room cover and, and use the, the, the UI from that, uh, you can then craft your, your legendary. Uh, each memory has a specific limited amount of slots that you can use them in. Mm -hmm. So there are memories that you can use on rings and wrists, for example. And there are others which, that you can only use on chests and helms or other, any other combinations that Blizzard deemed uh, appropriate. Right. So you can't use every uh, memory on any uh, item slot. That doesn't, that's not how that works. But uh, yeah, so then you just need to, to find uh, out which slot you want to use, which memory you want. So it's it's a little juggling as to what is the best upgrade right. for you uh, item level wise 
and power wise if you're lucky and your gear is crap enough that it doesn't matter basically you can choose the highest the, the most effective one for you but if you as I have just got a 207 item level leg piece from the world boss nice it would be kind of hmm, unfortunate were your most powerful legendary a legendary that had to go into the leg slot <coughs> because that would like uh, eliminate uh, your your um, your leg piece that you just got. Right. So, uh, yeah, that's probably why they at least give you one alternate choice. So that makes it at least two different slots to populate, like either or, which is good. Um, yeah. Um, I got a couple of, of achievements. I got for the hoarder, oh. which is uh, when you go into Torgast, you collect, yeah. as I mentioned uh, previously, the phantasma, right? The currency that you need to buy from the from the brokers. Uh, but if you collect enough Phantasma so that you can leave any of the tour gas cell blocks with unspent with a thousand unspent Phantasma, that's when you get for the horde. Right. So there are a couple of uh, Phantasma boosting abilities you can collect. One I love from my Warlock is whenever I use my Malefic Rupture ability, which is basically my Soul Shard Spender. Right. I automatically get five Phantasma. And having that paired with another ability that has a 15, that gives you a 15% chance to on use whenever you use your malefic rupture ability, that it would proc a uh, restore. Of your of your soul shots to max, so do the math. Fifteen percent is not insignificant. If you have at at the start of an uh, of a fight, you have uh, close to max phantasma, mm. and then you just spam the malefic rupture, mm. and then you rock that ability that restores the five soul shards and then you can cast another five obviously and each time you get five phantasma back it's like a, an awesome awesome way to, to get quite a bit of phantasma and then in, in the case of the run that I had where I got for the hoarder, I got two of those abilities. So that made it 30% chance to get five uh, proc for five soul shards. So I was basically only dotting up one of the um, one of the um, uh, ads there. 
if it was like a multi-ad fight, I, I, I put in the seed of corruption mm. and then went to town on the, on the button for the, for the malefic corruption, which, which is, I, I, granted, it's not the, the, the ideal way to play it, mm -hmm. but if, you, if you're playing at a level that's low enough where you can cheese your way through it that way, And you want to get, like, I think I had, like, 2,500 Phantasma at the end. And uh, that, was, that was absolutely insane. Uh, and then I bought stuff, and I was down to, like, 1,700 or something like that. So I was well, well past 1,000. Mm. Where on other runs, you barely scratch... Uh, you barely scratch the 500 or 600 Phantasma levels so you can buy all the significant and needed um, abilities to, to uh, get past the final boss. So there are, if you're really lucky or if you're really, if your luck is really crap, there are both both uh, versions of a, of a Torghast run. Um, also, I got Explosive Extermination, which is a um, an achievement you get when you use the bloating fodder ability, uh, uh, anima power to explode a hundred more rats in Torghast, which are like the little yeah, rats, more rats. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, it, it was, that was one of those, um, one of those achievements that I didn't know was in the game. Right. Uh, there are, um, quite a few obviously but uh, I've only gotten one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven so far out of I would say twenty all together. So, with the, with the Torghast. And some of them are linked to the rune cover and the legendary crafting uh, process. Mm -hmm. So, one, one is uh, uh, Recollection Collection, which is... Uh, bring or re return 10 memories to the room cover and I'm at 6 of 10 at the moment mm. so another one is craft the legendary which I haven't done yet uh, since I only want to craft them when I've got the, the proper uh, memory Uh, for the for the um, really good legendary, and uh, I don't have those memories on either the the warlock or the druid yet, so that uh, has to wait for a while. Uh, another thing about the legendaries. Uh, something we haven't had yet, I think, other than, well, yes, we, we did. We, we, we had, uh, we could upgrade the, the legendary cloaks from, from uh, Rathion. And could we upgrade the rings back in Back in uh, 
Roland? I don't remember. <laughs> I think we could only upgrade them throughout their epic life, and then once they hit legendary, that was like one. Warlords, you had the legendary ring. Yeah, yeah, but you had the the upgrade to legendary. Yeah. Yeah, but then once they hit legendary, they were fixed. You couldn't upgrade them within the legendary uh, status. But now with with these legendaries, and you uh, you could upgrade uh, back in Legion. You could upgrade the the um, the legendaries throughout the life cycle of Legion, where you could like bump them. Uh, whenever a new major patch hit to have them catch up to the new max level, where at the end it ended up being a thousand, I think, item level. Now, with the new uh, legendaries that you craft yourself, you can uh, upgrade the legendaries as as much as you want until the max. Obviously, there's I, I don't know how many levels there are. As long as you have the soul ash to do that, and that's obviously the the uh, the currency that you need to initially craft them, and then you can upgrade them as soon as you have enough soul ash to then upgrade them again. You can just go ahead and do that. I really like that. Uh, probably going to be the same type of upgrade system that we had in Legion, where they are going to add more upgrade levels as as the expansion goes into the next and so forth next um, major patches and the item level becomes higher uh, I would assume that's how it works because otherwise it would be stupid if they weren't um, and then they might even I mean, this, this is a wish on my part they might make it so that every newly crafted legendary would be crafted at a higher minimum level once the next uh, content patches have released. So I think currently we are at 190 minimum for, the, for, for stage one level one of the legendary and we are at 230 40 item level when we go into mythic territory let me just check what the what the uh, raids oh come on I don't want to be classic there uh, Shadowlands, Castle Nathria, Mythic. We are at 226 item level on a on uh, on the items that that drop from Castle Nathria. 233 even at some point uh, at, at some items. Are there higher ones from the end boss, which normally should be the case? Sire Denathrius, Trinket, 233, yes. So that's the highest, apparently, the highest item level in the raid. So there is that gap from if we craft the, when we craft the rank one legendary, that's going to be 190. And then we can upgrade them to 
let's just say 250, because legendaries are more powerful than epic items by definition. So let's just say for the for argument's sake, 250. So what I would like to see is that as soon as 9.1 comes out and we craft a new legendary that we haven't had yet, the max of uh, the minimum item level would be say 225 rather than 190 so you don't have to catch up as much and the fact that the content that we play in 9.1 is on a higher base item level would make it stupid basically to not have that uh, minimum item level raised. So I, I, I think that that's what Blizzard is going to do. I hope so. Obviously, we don't know, but, but that since Blizzard has done it before, I would assume that, that they're going to do it again. Okay, um, let me just quickly check something. Um, one more thing I wanted to talk about is, um, Oh, where are we? Oh, yeah. Um, with regards to to add-ons and to the wow up um, app, the the updating client, I've noticed they've added with the two point zero point two at the moment version. I, uh, they've added some icons to the entries of the add-ons that you that you uh, have installed. It's a little icon that sits to the left of the um, version number that's listed below the name. Uh, of the add-on uh, and it symbolizes uh, or it says when you mouse over it it says this add-on has multiple providers which I find interesting the fact that an add-on has multiple multiple providers has never been relevant before because as long as the app can pull it from one source one provider it's okay so in my opinion it i figure that they the the uh, maker of wow up might want to start pulling from different sources in case uh, curse goes down for them and and uh, pulls their their API uh, and then telling the the user which ad, which add-ons are still supported after that point I would assume something to that effect it's really interesting to see that it doesn't say which other providers it's from it just says there are multiple providers for this add-on does that give it a bigger advantage to use that add-on or 
Maybe that's what um, he's trying to say? No, the add-on, basically, n normally we we go, the go-to for a search engine is is Google. Right. Or us, we Google something. It's right. like, yeah, if you want to go and, and blow your nose, you, you take a Kleenex, that's Kleenex. Right. So if you go and, and, and look for an add-on, you go to Curse. That's like, yeah. So, but again, with Curse being Curse Forge being sold to to Overwolf, mm. and they're monitor monitorizing their their uh, access and all that good stuff, which which is their right, obviously. Right. I'm not arguing that. I'm just saying that uh, people that don't want to use and I mentioned this before, don't want to use the Overwolf client for various reasons that I'm not going to go into again. Uh, you have, in my case, again, I'm, I'm using the, the WOW app uh, client. That's still kind of has a... <coughs> Uh, has an access to it that it technically shouldn't have. It's not sanctioned. Mm. So, uh, so as soon as as Overwolf pulls the plug on third party access for other clients other than their own, you would be. Uh, either forced to use their client, Overwolf client, or you would have to do everything manually from the website, like we had to do way back when. Now, all I'm saying is that now you can see in the third-party client that is wow up which add-on and its update validity is independent in some way from curse because there's a third or there's a second or maybe even third provider that provides you with or provides the third-party client with an, an update option. So it's as, as if you're using Bing because you don't want to use Google right. or, or Yahoo or whatnot as a search client. Right. And the overall, there is an overall uh, search client app that goes in and pulls from all those different search engines. And now they tell you, oh, besides Google, I have access to one or more alternate uh, uh, sources for, for um, information on this topic. Which is good. Right. Oh, shit. So you always have more information about stuff is always good. Mm. And uh, I, I really think that it is kind of if you if you're a person that only uses five add-ons, right? Just as a, as a number, mm -hmm. and four of them have this alternate provider sign for you. You're much more likely to keep the third party app versus switching to the to the uh, Overwolf app when the time comes that Overwolf pulls the plug. Were they ever to do it? So 
I think, and another aspect of it, in my opinion, mm. is that the authors of the add-on mm -hmm. become more aware now with the monetarization and with the um, uniqueness and the importance of curse and the fact that a few people, quite a few people, have said that they are not going to use that platform and obviously people want the, a person that creates content, that creates a product, wants it used. I want you to drive my car that I, that I made, obviously. <laughs> I want to sell it to you. Right. So I can see that, that uh, an author, I would, I would, if I were a add-on author, I would go to as many platforms, as many providers as I could to offer them my, my add-on, my product. Unless, obviously, I would have an exclusive contract with one or the other, regardless of what name uh, comes with with the contract that I was going to make uh, the the deal with, but uh, yeah, s spreading the love is always good. So, so I really I really like the fact that that uh, we have this little marker now to see what add-on is quote unquote independent. From from uh, from curse when it comes to me wanting to upgrade it in other in another way than curse. And again, I, I want to say this very clearly. I'm not going to 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 uh, speak ill of curse or over wolf in 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 the way that that uh, they. It's a bad product. I'm just saying that some people like different business methods, business yeah, ways to run business. If you don't, again, if you don't like my car because I only sell you a car that's got what a hundred horsepower and it's purple, right? And you then want you have to. Yeah, you, and, and you want 200 horsepower and you the want green? a green car, yeah. you can't buy. It's no good. So there are so many, so many ways. And I think what it comes down to is you have more options. And as long as you have options, that's, that's a good thing. Right. Um, and with and, and that's that's it when 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 curse when when overwolf takes away those options that's where it gets interesting right so yeah. that's been my week um i just wanted to add because i forgot to say it in my week i put a screenshot in the show notes I don't know if you can see it, but I was very impressed with this dude. He is obvious. He is a restoration shaman, mm -hmm. and he's a, a is that a T Rex? It's a raptor. A raptor. Oh, he's a raptor. All right. So that's some kind of form that you can get as a restoration. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where you got it from. I know it's so neat, though. I love it. Yep. Yep. I guess that now, now my goal is to level a restoration shaman. <laughs> you <right>. can have. <laughs> you can have it. <laughs> you can have uh, if you were to choose the Night Fae Covenant in um, 
uh, in automobile, you will, as a signature uh, ability, you will get an ability called Soul Shape. Mm. And that ability is basically a um, a animal form, mm. much like the druid. It's mm. kind of what you have with your raptor form. Right, okay. Um, and it's got a blink ability oh. in integrated. So it, it's called Flicker. Mm. And it teleports you forward 15 yards or until reaching an obstacle mm. on a four second cooldown. Okay, cool. And the cool thing is, the, the base form mm. that, that it comes with is a Vulcan. Like the, uh, if you if you look in your mount okay. tab and type in Vulpin, mm -hmm. you have the Vulpine familiar, the the uh, wolf, the, the the foxy blue fox uh, mount. Okay, that's basically what it is. That's the base uh, form. form, and then. Okay. When, when you, you can unlock additional forms from a stack down to a rabbit, uh, to a, uh, rap, another raptor and whatnot. So I think that might have been, might have been, mm. uh, a, a, an offshoot of, of them developing this this ability for the Night Fae that they now give you the, the the raptor form as a as a shaman might be but it looks kind of eerily similar yeah alright hello everybody Kyle here mash that thing yep that's dead yay whoop and then just keep going not a boring cake in the walk anymore awesome amazing Talk to you again next week. Take care. Bye. All right, we got an email from Kyle. But before we get into Kyle's email, I do want to say um, that uh, Curly expressed to me that he really appreciated last week's episode being named after him. He was very, <laughs> very happy about that. <laughs> so that was nice. Cool. Yeah, very cool. All right, and Kyle writes, Hello, everyone. Here is my audio for the week and blast from the past. We resume our regularly scheduled journey through the past at episode 428. Enjoy, Kyle. All right, let's listen to Kyle's blast, uh, Kyle's week. I'm sorry, I'm so used to him not doing a week, and I'm glad he, uh, he decided to do one. Hello everyone, Kyle here. Hope you all are having a great holiday and hope you have a great New Year's. I am for one of one of many really excited to see 2020 finally come to an end and hope that 2021 can be a great rebuilding where we just got so much crap this past year. Ugh. Anyway, um, so let's see, on my main tune, I just kind of did some piddling around, did some world quests, um, you know, just just doing a little bit here and there. I still haven't opened up Torghast yet. Um, I want to get to that soon, but I just get distracted. It's like, oh, world quest, let's do this. Oh, let's do this. Oh, daily, let's do this daily, and that kind of stuff. Um, I brought a couple more alts over to Oribos, so I went through the Maw scenario, one of them, I've already acted Threads of Fate, and I think there was a miscommunication last time because I fully understand and I know that once you activate Threads of Fate, all of these story quests are marked completed and you cannot go back. It's irreversible. Um, however, when I choose to activate Threads of Fate, it is up to me. So I have one alt that is on Threads of Fate already, and it's great because I just, um, I still have to go through all four zones, 
but I get to finally do the side quests because I skipped all the side quests my first time around. Um, my, my main, when I got up to 60, I pretty much only did story quests and that's it. And that got me more than enough to level 60. So I'm excited to explore some side, some, um, some of the side quests. I can do some world quests. I can, you know, I can just go around and do stuff and it's and, you know, and oh, I love I'm, I'm really excited about Threads of Fate. Um, a couple of my other alts, um, maybe I'll decide to go through some of the story quest again. And as long as I don't hit level 60, based on my research and understanding, I will be able to activate Threads of Fate and complete the story. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm liking Threads of Fate already. I think that's going to gonna be a great for my alts. Um, and it's going to be nice because then I can just select one alt, do a couple things, log off, do a couple more things on another alt that is different than what my other one did. Uh, that's what I hate about the storylines. I feel like I'm doing the same thing over and over and over and over. That's what made the leveling alts such a pain sometimes. Um, but I'm, I'm really liking the threads of fate and just having the huge flexibility to level up. Um, I also went through a lot of my alts that were at max level last expansion, just logging into them. So that way I can start rested XP because I completely forgot about that. And also um, tried cleaning out some of their bags uh, because, you know, you have all the mats from last expansion and then you're trying to clear out your bank because my bank is overstuffed with mats from all the expansions. And so I don't want to get rid of anything. So just trying to figure out where everything's supposed to go. And then clearing out the quest log because I don't want any of the quests from last expansion. So yeah, that's that's kind of a chore. And Blizzard, we need more bag space. How about like another materials tab? I'd love that. Just another materials tab in the bank so I can actually store all the materials that I'm collecting, maybe. Or just make it easier for me to start another guild so I can have like more bank space that way. Maybe, just just saying. Or I could do the Jeppy route and just create a couple bank tunes and then just have like an herb bank tune and an ore bank tune and something like that. But then I'd have to delete or create a second account to do all that. Anyway, so yeah, I am, I'm really, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm excited to continue down with the post story to see what's going on in the campaign. I'm excited to do questing using Threads of Fate to complete the entire storyline, never to go back to the storyline, and just level up by doing world quests or whatever I want and just having the flexibility. I'm, it's it's going to be nice. Anyway, that's all for me. Um, I suppose I won't talk to you again until next year. So see you next year. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, I know. It's funny. It's not funny. Whatever. Just laugh. Okay. Bye. I agree. I wish there was some other alternative and I'm tempted to, to make another bank alt. <gasps> Uh oh. Did I lose you guys? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it's good just, to... Just listening to you. Oh, and it's good to see that you, um... That you're getting to play and stuff. So, yeah. Um, what was you saying about the... Oh, the threats of fate? Yes. Uh... Something I did know. If it turns out to be true, and I'm not uh, disputing his research, I'm just saying I haven't heard this yet, that you can implement threats of fate whenever you choose. Right. As long as you're not level 60. Mm. That would yeah. open up a whole different avenue of possibilities. Yeah. Right. Did, did you know that, Constrax? Uh, as long as you don't hit level 60, you don't have to pick, right? No. But once you have a max level character... That's not what I've... Uh, you, can, you can put it off on your first alt or what? Uh, when, whenever I've come to uh, to Ouroboros, it freezes my character. It okay. goes, goes gray as if I'm dead. And the, the NPC comes up to me and says, pick. Right. I've never not picked Threats of Fate yet. Mm. Okay. Because I don't 
want to play the the, the uh, main storyline at this point. Okay. So I don't know what happens. Should I uh, choose to to postpone maybe uh, uh, the threats of fate? But I know that I have to pick one of the two options. Right. Which which are either main storyline or threats of fate. So, so you haven't uh, tried to repeat the quest line like on a nope, different I have not. Option. Okay. So that's why uh, why I'm I've, I've not seen anything that, that would uh, support Kyle's uh, statement. Well, yeah. thanks, Kyle, but it's good to hear from you. And now we get to listen to Kyle's Blast from the Past. Oh, yeah. yeah. Today is Friday, July 3rd, <laughs> 2015. This is episode 428 entitled, It Burns! It burns. I'm a pretty in your host, and with me are my four awesome co-hosts. Good morning, Lita. How are you today? Good morning. I'm doing very well, thank you. Are you, are you hot? <laughs> no. No. You're cold. Definitely. Oh, okay. Is it snowing yet? No, it doesn't snow here. It just gets cold. Oh, okay. And Rogue Slayer, how are you? Hello, I'm fine. I had a wonderfully lazy day today because I had the day off. Oh, yeah. A lot of people Nothing had planned. the day yeah. off because tomorrow's the 4th of the July. And- yes, I have Monday. I have today and Monday off. Oh, I've excellent. I've kept them completely unscheduled. Ooh. Nice. Are you going to play WoW? I played a little WoW. I did some reading. I, I napped in my air chair in the backyard. You read it was on awesome. Your, did you read on your Kindle? I did. I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> my nice. Kindle paper white so I could read in the sunlight. Oh. <laughs> Suck it, Kindle. No! <laughs> and, uh, I, I heart, I can... How are you today? Well, thank you for including me this week. I'm doing great. Thank you. I'm, I'm squeezing you. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> and Marzana, how are you? I'm literally burning. Uh, some tropical heat wave came over Europe, and uh, it's very, very hot. What's What's a town near you? I don't want your exact town because um, then. Oh, I can tell my exact town. It's an, it's huge anyway. <laughs> you cannot find me that easy. Uh, I live in Frankfurt. would find a way. <laughs> ah. What is it? Frankfurt. Frankfurt. Oh, that is. Now, how far is that from Hamburg? Oh, that's it. That's kind of far. It's 77 degrees, hon. It's 81 <laughs> here. Oh, no. It's 77 here. It's it's almost like we're on the same planet. I have 79. Oh, you have 79? Okay, yeah. It was 82 earlier, so 77 is well, not all that hot. Uh, oh, it's going to be 88 on Monday. Ah. Is it really? It oh, wow. burns. It burns. It burns. <laughs> In real life. Uh, I feel so. Oh, my gosh. You're going to be 102 tomorrow. I'm so sorry, Marzana. Why? You're going to be hot tomorrow. Oh, I'm yes. Gonna... Tomorrow it will be um, crazy hot. But I'm attending a pool party. So um, I will get a chance to cool off. Wow. That's really hot it's gonna be 39 <laughs> you know celsius makes no sense <laughs> it does it does it makes perfect sense unless you're american i learned the metric in in school the metric yeah yeah metric. i learned the metric system system in school i don't know you just learned the metric <laughs> 
the, the abbreviated version. <laughs> no, I learned everything. You only learned about a piece it. of it version. She learned the whole thing. I learned oh. the whole thing. You just learned the system. I learned everything. <laughs> So the item restoration service, thank you, Asylum, um, is is in the Battle.net client and you follow that through on your account and uh, and that will allow you to do it, okay? So it's that's a pretty cool thing to have. So if you yeah, do get into cool. something and go, oh, my gosh, I need it back, go use that um, tool. I wish I had known that cool. years ago. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> It's probably something they set up so that you can leave customer service alone. <laughs> yeah. 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 So right. you're so not, you the know, battle. sticking out. I help. I just, you know, did my, you know, tier 59 epic, this, that, and the other. So you can actually go get it back. And I mean, if you vended it or if you got a crystal, what they'll do is just convert that back. So if I vended it for, say, 30 gold, well, guess what? They're going to take that 30 gold back out of my bag but if i need the item back so be it as far yeah, as i'm concerned that's fair mm. okay yeah. so i'm looking at it and where would it be under settings game code transaction um uh well hang on. Right account on. management okay and then from account management it should follow through mm. to i'm just trying to think um Oh, I do. here it is. Item, well, item restoration. Let's see where it yeah. Uh, I think I normally just do a search. Yeah, that's and follow. Yeah, yeah, and follow that. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, there it is. Restore your World of Warcraft characters' items that were mistakenly dis- deleted, destroyed, or sold. Because we all mistakenly do that. Right, so just... You just do a search. It's not so much under, or is it under open a ticket? Maybe under sur- under support, maybe? Just under, under su- no, no. All I did was do search in the, um, so just in the top right-hand corner of my Battle.net client, mm-hmm. and it brought it straight up. If I just Asylum. hit item restoration, and from Asylum there it si- just said it, it goes to. back to on months. Okay. So that's the maximum. All right. Well, that's great to know. <laughs> I mean, that's really great to know. Really? Really uh, let's great see. to know. So here's how it works. See what loot you lost. Um, so I'm clicking on it. Which character needs restoration? Let's go with April. And let's see. Oh, this is great. Oh, I DE'd some bands and my grandiose carnage. I could... Uh, I could get back. Why did I? I'm supposed Just to for the it? heck of it. And I yeah. It. Yeah. Why not? One. Well, I'm just looking, so I'll, I'll put a screenshot in the show mm. notes. And and so that's that's kind of neat. Aprilian and Rishna, how were your week in the Blizzard universe? <laughs> I, I think uh, we haven't done a lot. No, but I'm just glad to be back. I mean, I think everybody knows that I was out on medical leave for a while, and I just got my first paycheck, even though I've been back to work for three weeks. Yeah, we get and, paid every two weeks. And and there's a delay on yeah. top of it. So I uh, my WoW accounts were... Um, inactive since the 28th of, of last month. Right. Although, um, you know, I started to do my a uh, little bit on Iron Vrishna. Because you can play up to 20, which up is really 20. nice. Yeah. Yeah. It is very nice. Yeah. Um, but, they're just resting. Just think of your accounts. They're just having a little rest. Yeah, right. yeah, they and, did. Hmm. You were going to try, but we forgot. You were well, gonna tr- we were going to try, but I didn't get there uh, right. before I got paid. Uh, to see what happens the moment you turn 20 with an inactive account. I mean, can you hearth home? Does it immediately stop working? I mean, probably Does somebody else knows. Does it shut down? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, yeah. do, does the wall police know. come and take your tune away and escort it back? But, you know? Back to the login screen. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Which is funny because um, I had somebody last week. Did I talk about that? Somebody came up to me and asked me um, where, uh, where, why they couldn't get past nineteen. 
Did I talk about that last week? Yeah. I don't um, think so. Yeah, I was, where was I? I was somewhere, let me see. I was doing um, fires, and I was, I think I was somewhere like, uh, I, um, I think it was my alliance tune, and I was somewhere like where it was, like, Cr- Kranos, right outside of Stormwind. I mean, uh, Ironforge. Ironforge, yeah. yeah. Oh, and I, and yeah. I said, you know, go north and find quests that were green. But it was just funny that somebody couldn't get past 19. And I, I thought maybe they had a um, a trial account, but they didn't. So huh. we'll have to do that experiment some other time if somebody... Really? Well, I was trying to grab her. She's trying to jump up on me, but she she wants attention, but she won't let me grab her. Mm, that's because she wants to play. The part of Caesar <laughs> is being played by Maya. Maya. <laughs> A couple of episodes ago, I learned something about the um, coffee, drinking the Miner's coffee. Um, oh, yeah, how it's stashed. In it's trade nice, chat. Yeah. Well, apparently the primal trader... Is now cheaper. They made everything cheaper at the Primal Trainer. Have you? Has huh. anybody been to the Primal Trainer lately? That changes. I have been to it, but I hadn't been there recently enough to really look at the prices. <laughs> yeah. So according to Trade mm-hmm. Chat, they've made everything cheaper. Which uh, I'm, I'm going to check in a second, and I'll I'll get back to you. I do know that I went to the Primal Trader this week, and I I traded in. I had like a gobs of the Prime of. Oh, no, the primal spirit. The, the, the stuff you get in, in Draenor, Draenor. What is that? The spiky uh, looking stuff. Yeah, there the primal. Oh, yeah, the primal spirit. Okay, yeah. yeah. And uh, okay. I bought some of the um, the blood stuff, I think it was. Right, yeah. That's right? What I'm looking I at. made thousands on the auction house. <laughs> Did you really? I, I had this primal spirit just, you know, taking up space in my banks. So I went and got it all out. And I got a bunch of them and I sold them for like hundreds of gold each. And they went like that. It was wow. awesome. Oh yeah, right, so I'm awesome. at the primal trainer now, and I know that. <gasps> they're, oh my gosh! Yeah, they're they're fifty percent. They were ah. they were fifty um fifty primal. Oh spirits. yeah, they're twenty five now. And now they're twenty five. So Ooh. believe it or not, folks, you can learn something in trade chat. <laughs> <laughs> That's just madness. Thanks. Goodness, yeah. it's what not you? April Fool's Day. <laughs> I know. I it, it anyone would happened. believe you. What yeah. were you doing yeah. in there? What was I doing in trade chat? Yeah. <laughs> I just keep, I keep it on. I, I, I didn't turn it off. So I'm going to, and actually, okay. to I have a recommendation for reducing the level of stress in your life. <laughs> just exit that. Exit we'll teach, that. we'll teach you things. You don't need to go there. You don't need to learn it in the trade track street. Well, did you tell me that things were cheaper? No, I'm saying we'll come up with things to tell you so you don't feel you have to turn to the, the trade chat streets. <laughs> yeah. Learn. Walk okay. away from the trade chat. Out in Tanan, I, I like, like uh, Juno, am gathering all these cool little toys or non-toy things. Um, and one of the things I got was the, the skull of the Mad Chief. And this is, um, it's it's kind of like that thing out on, on Timeless Owl. You, you, you turn yourself into it and you just zoom. You just zoom. You're a little green meteor thing and you're flying. You, you, you're just racing along. And so uh, somebody on, on Wowhead said, oh, this is really cool for cutting down the time to get from your garrison to your shipyard. Like, oh, okay. I'll try that. Well, when you do that, just make sure you're pointed in the right direction first. Oh, wow. <laughs> Because I was in the general, I, mean, I was going out the right door out of my garrison. But oh, yeah. if, 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 if as long as you're like in contact with the road, you can still navigate and turn. But it yeah. goes really fast, and those it's really easy to miss that first turn. So I just went flying out of my garrison, and I'm airborne. And once you're airborne, oh, you're just at inertia as well, you know. And I'm like, ah, I'm going out to the oh. Ah! And I ended up out at sea somewhere, and I had to <laughs> swim back to get to my shipyard. So I did try later on, and I, I, I kept better control, and I actually was able to get down there. <clears throat> and I just ran myself into my, my my table until it ran out of steam and, 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 and unbuffed myself. <laughs> so that was fun. He was making some comment about Siri. What is zero divided by zero? Yeah, what is that? Is it zero or is it an imaginary number? I no, no. You asked Siri that. It's right. a, it's a thing. Oh, 
It's oh. it's this thing that if you are, and then Siri will make a response. And all right, let's you try. Need Here, to I'll do it right now. Me. Siri, yeah. what is zero oh, divided okay. by zero? Imagine that you have zero cookies and you split them evenly among zero friends. How many cookies does each person get? See, it doesn't make sense. And Cookie Monster is sad that there are no cookies. And you are sad that you have no friends. <laughs> wow. wow. And, and it actually says indeterminate. <laughs> now, all I want to say is uh, the people who program Siri... Um, there are some programmers with too much time on their hands. Right. <laughs> you know, and I, I love Siri on most times, but on my way to work every morning, I have to be at work at 5.30, and so I'm, there's a point where I should be at, at 5.22, and so I'm asking her what time it is, and every friggin' morning she says, it's too early, or you woke me up. And I'm like, <laughs> get with the program, Siri. This is the time. <laughs> get up and I go to work every day <laughs> and you're not making me feel better yeah it's just, yeah. It's just not fair it's not no. right. I'm not uh, using Siri she, ju- she does simply does not understand me my what? English is <laughs> what? What? Huh? Would you can say? you change it can you not change it uh, I can it. change it no, in German but uh, I don't like to keep uh, my all my devices in in German. It's just like everything in English. And when I talk to Siri, she always does not really understand oh, what uh, I'm oh, asking. So you, are you like Kripko like, on? Yeah, like Barry. Yeah, Barry Kripke. Yeah, I don't know what is find a west or want. Find a west <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's just that's wrong. wrong. It is. It is. Oh, Kyle, that was. So- <laughs> find a western want. Uh, yeah, those were the good old days. It was nice that uh, Vrishna was able to get back in the game. and It's nice that you can still play up to 20 if you don't have any money. <laughs> oh, that rhymed. <laughs> and it was nice hearing from Rosanna. She was great. She was great in the whole Siri thing. If you have zero cookies... And you split them among zero friends. <laughs> you are sad because you have no friends. All right. Yes. Thank you, Kyle. That was so enjoyable. It was nice to hear from everybody and um, to hear from Krishna. All right. Um, now's the time I get to play this. We're clan of darkness here together. What's in an egg that we can't weather? Apocalypse. We've all been there. It's the same old boss. Why should we care? We're clan of darkness here together. What's in an egg that we can't weather? There's nothing that we can't face. How have the clans of darknesses and control out wild on Nevercoof and Winter Nevercoof and Wormrush Accord been this week? Well, it's been really, really busy on Earthen Ring, a little bit quiet on the other realms. Hmm. So on Earthen Ring at level 45, I guess level 45 is the thing that's like um, level 90. So at level 45, we have Gruzilla. We have Prilia, we have Quibala, we have Jaden, we have Richman, we have Avador and Ularon. Oh, nice. And then hitting the same, the, like level 50 that week. So somebody just went in and leveled twice. Oh. We have Jaden, Quibala, Avador, and Richman. So four out of the seven hit the next level of that. And hitting max level. Level 60, we have Setna and Tainir. Congratulations to all our levels. And while I was doing my uh, transmute this week, I did a quest, so I hit Exalted. So we need a song on one character. Funny how time flies when you're having fun. And which character are we congratulating? 
We're uh, congratulating my alchemist. Med, med well done. Um, I was uh, near the scrapper, so I scrapped some pants, and you, you only need one one quest to ding on some some characters, so it's really nice to uh, hit the level that way. Oh, nice. You just do one thing, and then boom, you're, you're exalted with Clan of Darkness. So I mailed my tabard to another character who right. got exalted with their guild. So, because you don't have to buy the tabard, once you're exalted, you can just destroy it or mail it or sell it. Or, and you do know that you can send it to a character on a different realm. And yes. it's a cheaty, it's a cheeky way of sending money around. Yeah, <laughs> you, just put the, you just put the dash in and then the name of the realm all in one word. Right. And, well, for me, I don't know if it's an add-on, but it will come up automatically. And I think they can get 69 gold, which is, if you're starting off, that's pretty good. Yeah. All right. And I tried, I tried to go to um, uh, Jade Forest, by, but I ended up in Battle for Azeroth. So I don't know what I did. I I, I think I hit chromie time mm. the wrong way the wrong because way. then instead of rescuing um, Prince Anduin, mm. you're talking to King Anduin, and King Anduin wants you to go to battle for Azeroth because the XP <laughs> is huge there, and it, it, like he's king, so he doesn't want to give it up. He doesn't want to go back to being prince. Mm. So uh, yeah, so now I'm doing a. Um, an incursion in Voldoon because the XP is just monster. Like you, you, you do one quest and you almost ding with one quest. So I don't know what that's all about. But picking flowers and rocks, you get a thousand to two thousand XP per pick. So that's huge. Yeah. So I'm just gonna do the queen the quests on my main and then the um, my proxy the alt will be leveling. Because you get flying at level 35, I guess, in Battle for Azeroth. Right. That's kind of handy. Uh, all right. Well, I think uh, we are done for the year. <laughs> As Kyle said. The next year. Done for the year. Done yep. for yeah. the year. Um, and we will be back on next, uh, what is it, the third? I think. Next year. Next year, yes, yes. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to it because I will be on vacation. Yes, yeah, gonna mm. be the third. Yeah, so I'm gonna be playing a lot of WoW and having a lot of fun. What I really want to do is try to get figure out um, the VR in WoW. I've played some, and it's really nice. Yeah. And the D I mean, WoW is perfect for VR, but it's all about the controls, yeah. and I gotta figure out a better way to control it. Well, especially now that you have proper controller support yeah, yeah. in WoW. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hopefully, I can figure yeah. that out. Yeah, they with with uh, the pre patch for Shadowlands, they, they introduced couldn't. proper controller support for WoW. All right. <laughs> All righty. This is a brilliant for the horde. This is Constructs for the Old Fashioned Auction House. And this has been Grand Nagus, Rule of Acquisition, number 19. Satisfaction is not guaranteed. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye.